Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm back with another Bond Bar update. These are the Bond Bar products from Sally Beauty, the newest products to bond and repair damaged hair. Now today's video is sponsored by Sally Beauty. As some of you know, I am part of the Sally crew. So if you haven't seen my previous video giving you a little bit more in-depth information about these products, make sure you go back and watch that. But today is more of an update video and a clarification video for those of you that had questions about how it worked. So I've used these products for a little over a month now, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. And... I wanted to show you how my hair looks now so you can see if you notice a difference over a longer span of time. I don't think I've ever been able to use one product for this long without having to try other products in between. So I'm glad I was able to commit to just Bond Bar when it came to my wash days. But I'm gonna do a little refresh today. I meant to film this yesterday, but here we are. Now I'm showing you a refresh, but I also filmed how these products worked in the shower once again so I can kind of talk about them even more. So let me go ahead and remove some of the bling so we can refresh. So as I refresh my hair, this is going to be day two curls. Haven't touched them at all. Let's see how we look, just straight out of the scrunchie. Okay, look, look at that. Not bad. This is me doing absolutely nothing to my hair. But I am gonna refresh the little frizzy parts because I'm a wild sleeper and I have children that like to pull my hair. So as I refresh my hair, I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys had about Bond Bar. And I asked you how you felt about Bond Bar because a lot of you already ran out and got some for yourself. And I love getting your feedback. So let me read some. So someone said, OMG, after the first application, blown away. Someone else said, yes, yes, yes. I have recommended it to my own friends and love it so much. I saw a difference after one use. I loved it, it left my hair super soft. In love with it, I have the tangliest hair ever and this line makes it brushable and shiny. I loved how soft mine and my son's hair felt after using it. Oh, she's even sharing it with the kids. I'm not even sharing it with my kids. So definitely love hearing that you guys are loving it just as much as I do because at the end of the day, we all have very, different hair and different hair needs. So I like hearing that it works on your hair texture and type as well. So I'm trying not to go too heavy on the water as I do more spraying than I'm supposed to. There we go. Just smoothing that down a little bit and then add a little bit more on this side. Question number one, how many times can you use it per month? The bottle suggests one to three times a week. That must be a straight hair thing because those of us with curly hair don't really wash our hair that many times a week in general. But I will say this, if you have very damaged hair from bleach, color, heat, you might wanna up the ante and do the two to three times a week. If you don't really have damage, kinda of like me, I think once a week is totally fine. Just use it as needed and depending on how much bonding you think your curls or hair needs. Someone asked, can we double cleanse? Use the pre-shampoo, then a different shampoo like Kinky Curly, and then add the Bond shampoo after. You can if you think your hair isn't clean enough after one use. I know sometimes we go a little bit too long on our wash days and our scalp really needs a good clean. So if you get in the shower and you realize like, okay, my hair or my scalp can really use some clean, you could do that. I would not recommend using something with sulfates because you don't want to dry out your hair. So like you said, the kinky curly one would be a good choice. And then you could add the shampoo after. But if you do notice that your hair is too dry, you might have cleaned it a little too much. So I'm just going to smooth some of the number six bonding styling cream, just to re kind of moisturize everything. It already looks so shiny. Oh, this stuff is great. Next question, do we have to use all four steps? I have styling products I love and want to continue using. Yes, you do not have to give up your favorite styling products. Even for me, this is a good styling cream, but I like a little bit more hold, so I add a gel on top of it. With anything, with any line, any brand is gonna want you to use their whole collection together because they want you to, but also because they are making these products so that they all work well together as a whole. So if you wanted to just use the conditioner 
you could. If you only wanted to use the shampoo, you could. But you're always going to get your best results using all the line together. Unless you feel like it's lacking something, then you could add something to it, just like I added gel to this line. You also can really look into what each product is saying that it's going to do and then choose whatever your hair needs. For example, let's talk about the Bond Bar number three, Bonding Pre-Shampoo. This pre-shampoo is supposed to strengthen and repair highly damaged hair after one treatment. It prevents formation of split ends by 74%. So if you're struggling with split ends or you often get them, then you're gonna definitely wanna use number three, the bonding pre-shampoo. After you apply the bonding pre-shampoo treatment, you leave it on for as little as 10 minutes or as long as 30 minutes, depending on your hair needs, and then you rinse it out. After you rinse out the pre-shampoo, you can grab the number four bonding shampoo. Now this is supposed to prevent flyaways and frizz, add moisture and shine, which is really nice to hear that a shampoo is also going to give you moisture. It's a moisturizing shampoo, which has become my favorite type of shampoo to be using. After you rinse out the shampoo, number five, bonding conditioner. The bonding conditioner leaves hair easier to manage and helps maintain curls, prevents and reduces split ends after one use. So now number five is also talking about split ends like number three, but number three is also talking about strengthening and repairing the hair. But I do think that this conditioner has great slip, it's great for detangling, and it definitely leaves my hair feeling moisturized after. Then after you rinse it out, get out the shower and apply number six, the Bonding Styling Cream. This works on damp or dry hair and reduces frizz for up to 72 hours. So that is why your styler is also good to add to reduce frizz. So overall, if you're dealing with frizz, split ends, dryness, or damage, each step is going to help with those needs. Now, as you could see here on my day one and what I'm gonna do today, I do like adding a gel on top. This is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Hydrate and Hold Curl Defining Gel. It gave me great day one hair yesterday. Sorry I didn't film my day one results full transparency. I'm moving! And I got my keys yesterday, so I kinda just ran out the house in excitement. But I'm back! in the same outfit to refresh with you. So I have a little bit of gel here. I'm just gonna smooth it on. We don't need a lot of product because we put some on yesterday, scrunching it. Wow, this stuff smells good. And so does the Bond Bar products. Smoothing it through just like so. Now we're damp again, so now I am going to diffuse. But that's how I refresh. I do this every time I'm trying to do my hair. I do like to add a little, a little bit of water, a little bit more product, Get the top, zhuzh, and then diffuse. Grabbing my Ion Lux Supercharged Blow Dryer and Diffuser to get some more volume. The proof is in the pudding. Zhuzh it up a little bit, get some volume, stretch it out. I love it. And that's how I refresh. Let's put the bling back on. There we go. Now let's get into this next question that really goes along with how I feel about my overall results after one month. Someone asked, if you don't have damaged hair, can they still be used? Would they help keep hair healthy? Exactly. I'm glad you asked and said that because as you guys know, I don't have damaged hair. I did have highlights at one point and this is like the most highlight that I have left. It is completely grown out. Um, I don't put any heat on my hair aside from diffusing, but I don't straighten it or manipulate it in any very damaging way, but there are so many different types of damage that we all encounter regardless. From styling our hair, from using a brush, from using a diffuser, from the weather, from chlorine, from hard water, the minerals in our hard water, not just bleaching, dyeing, and straightening your hair. So everybody, no matter your curl type, or even if you have straight hair, will benefit from using a bonding product. And honestly, it should just be in everybody's routine. But not everybody will have to use it as often, depending on how much damage or how much manipulation they do to their hair. So not only will these products help repair damaged hair, but it also will protect your hair from future damage. Because your hair is now being strengthened, it could take a little bit more of a hit with the different types of things that we do to break those bonds. But one of the main questions I got is, how does Bond Bar compare to other bonding products? The absolute main difference is the price. You cannot beat this $9.99 price. Most of the very well-known bonding products are at least around $30 for one product, and sometimes it's even less than eight fluid ounces. So when it comes to the price comparison, 
this one beats a lot of competitors, if not all. But in regards to how they work, a lot of bonding products work differently. So first let's understand what are you bonding? What do you mean by bonding products? Without getting too scientific-y, our hair is made up of multiple bonds. And anytime we straighten our hair, brush our hair, put heat on our hair, color our hair, we're either weakening or breaking those bonds. So what a bonder does, it either can repair the existing bonds or it can add something that will go in between and kind of link everybody back together. So I'm gonna just read you exactly what Sally Beauty is saying that the Bond Bar does. So Bond Bar's bonding technology works by penetrating deep into the hair cortex, which is the inner workings of our hair strands, creating new hydrogen and ionic bonds that support and restore the internal keratin structure. This provides improved strength and manageability for damaged hair. Bond Bar was developed by proprietary formulas. So a lot of bonding products have their own little special ingredients that they don't really like to share. So no one else steals their, you know, magical ingredients. It's kind of like Ed's special sauce from Good Burger. Everybody wants it, but only Kel knows. You might be thinking, well, if I want my hair to be stronger, can I just use a protein treatment? It's not the same. Protein is good for strengthening your hair, but is not something that is claiming to repair any broken bonds. So it's good to make your hair look better and stronger overall, definitely has benefits. But if you have damage, you really need to either cut off those dead ends or try to repair and relink the bonds in your hair shafts. So a protein treatment is not the same as a bonding treatment because bonding is repairing. So if you have damaged hair, you will see more benefits from a bonding product than a protein treatment. So when it comes to which one is better, it's really gonna depend on your preference of one, the price, and also how much damage you need to repair. As you can see, I don't have damage, and I do think that overall my hair has been looking extra popping lately. Like when I look at myself now, I'm like, okay, cool. But lately when I've been watching my video back and playback to edit, I'm like, wow, my curls are shiny, it's full, and I do just think it looks healthier overall. And I'm all about preventing damage. I will admit I do use my diffuser a lot. I don't use a heat protectant like I should. And I'll admit that I like to take really hot showers. You should not be putting hot water on your hair either. So I've got some different aspects of damage to my hair. So I'm definitely down to continue to use a bonding product just to strengthen and restore everything to keep my curls as bouncy and healthy as possible. So the last question that I have on here is, what exact changes did you notice? Did you have less shed hair while using it? So I'll admit, I do think that my last shower, I did have a lot less shedding than normal. I think because I ended up washing my hair twice this week. So it wasn't exactly a fair representation, but this product is not claiming to fix postpartum shedding nor reduce shedding. It says it's going to reduce breakage. So to be fair, I was just being hopeful that this product would just magically stop postpartum shedding, but I think that's gonna be more of an internal issue. I gotta just take my prenatals for that. So my hair is not being removed from my scalp. But what I do wanna prevent is shedding and breakage. So I'd have to remind myself that shedding is different than breakage, and this is helping with breakage, but not with shedding because that's just a part of life and it's not what it's claiming to do. But you guys tell me from the looks of it, do you feel like my curls have been looking extra popping lately? This is what I've been using all month long. I think I noticed a difference. A lot of you have left me comments on Instagram letting me know that my hair has been looking like extra healthy and long and shiny lately. This could be why. I think it looks really good. Let me know what you think. So will you see the best results if you use steps three through six? Yes, all together as a family because they are made together to work together. If you were only able to choose one, maybe I would say the bonding pre-shampoo because this is more of a treatment that you are leaving on your hair for 10 minutes. So anything that you're leaving on your hair, I feel like it's gonna do a little bit more work than the things that you quickly rinse out. Second choice would maybe be the conditioner. It's also claiming to help with split ends and strengthen your hair and it left my hair feeling really moisturized. And I love a conditioner that will easily detangle my hair. And then the shampoo a little goes a very long way. Like I haven't even made like a dent. I think I'm, I'm down to here in this shampoo bottle. So I like that I get that clean feeling without having to use a lot. So it's a 
a lot of bang for your buck being only $9.99. And then there's the cream. I do have to use a different styler because I like a strong hold, but I've been able to get away with using this kind of like a leave-in before my gel. So with all this information, choose what you think is gonna be best for you and your hair. So if you've realized that you need a bonding treatment in your life, whether it's a shampoo, a conditioner, or a pre-poo, these are all available at Sally Beauty. They're very affordable. I will link them below in my description box. Please make sure to use my link when you're shopping. But overall, I'm very happy with my results and I love seeing that you are also happy with your results. If you get them, try them, love them, leave me a comment so I can know how well they work for you and your hair. Let me know what hair type you have and your type of damage so we can keep track of how these products are working on different types of damaged hair. Like I briefly mentioned before, I am moving. We have officially bought our first house, so we are very excited for this new transition. So this just might be the last time that I'm filming in this studio, in this setup, new house, new look. We're gonna change the whole background. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but this is kind of, I'm kind of having a moment right now. I did pre-film another video that's gonna be posted after this one, but actually, this is the last time that you might see this exact setup. I've made a lot of videos in this office space AKA my garage, but it's time to move on. If you guys want some realness, um, just to my left are all my boxes <laughs> that I'm moving um, and that I'm filming in my garage. So I'm excited to be in a room and not in a garage. <sighs> on to bigger and better things. So if you enjoyed this video and got some more clarity on how the Bond Bar products work, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to follow along my curly hair journey and my new journey in my new house with our new setup. Like a lot of big changes are happening. I can't believe we are basically at the end of 2022. Like what? I need a new challenge for 2023. I feel like I kind of failed my hairstyle challenge just a little bit. We'll talk about that in my next video or so, but leave me some suggestions on what you want my 2023 challenge to be. Oh, bars, that rhymes. So it doesn't even have to be hair related, honestly. I, I wanna even get into more of the lifestyle space and my home decor. So leave all of your suggestions below. I do post new videos every week and you will start seeing a new background and setup very soon. Just let me get moved in. I need some time. Your girl's got a lot of boxes to unpack, a lot of products that I need to put on some sort of shelving unit, but I want you to stay in the loop. So hit that notification bell so you are notified as soon as I post a new video. The best way to keep up with me is also by following me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.